G'day guys, Paul here from Safe Tech Hardware. I'm the technical rep for Safe Tech and I've been in the industry for 25 years. I want to demonstrate today in a series of videos just how simple it is to install this great range of products. Okay, firstly today I want to show you how easy it is to install our hinge and latch range on a pool gate. This is a pretty typical kind of setup of an aluminium pool gate system. So let's take a first look at what we need. Okay guys, we're going to need a screw gun, a 5 16 hex drive driver bit, a two point Phillips head driver bit, a Phillips screwdriver. You can use this but it gives you more finite adjustment. Obviously a level to make sure that our posts are correct and level. We're using a Tri G90 latch system here. Um, this is our top of the line um, pull safety latch. It has an additional safety button which has to be depressed before the latch can be activated. It's absolutely fantastic. We're going to couple that with G90L hinges. These are an adjustable type of hinge. The spring tension is simply adjusted with an Allen key and they are the most versatile hinge on the market. We've got a safety cap for the top of the bottom hinge and all the hardware that we need. So let's get started. Okay, so firstly we're going to fit our, our top hinge. Normally um, on the legged hinges I would keep the um, adjustment end of the hinge facing upwards and I'm going to sit this roughly around about here on the gate making of course sure that the gate opens outwards from the swimming pool and simply screw and then continue to do so. That's my bottom hinge on. You'll notice I've got it fairly low to the bottom of the gate Simply in Queensland, the top of that hinge can become a climbing point to the top of the fence. We have a compliance cap which gets around that issue, but check with your local council and just make sure. Okay guys, you'll notice on these G90 hinges, they have legs, so they're self-aligning. Providing my post is level, and the counter post is level, we should be right. I'm going to take the gate, simply hold it up, Against the post, I'm using my eye, <laughs> screw that off. It's a one man operation. I didn't go to the bottom, I do exactly the same. Okay, so now that I've fixed the, the front face of those hinges, I'm just going to open the gate and lock off the internal. And repeat the process on the bottom. Okay guys, so now that I've orientated the brackets on the latch um, and the gate swinging perfectly, I've got about a 20 millimeter gap between the latch posts and the gate frame. I've turned these brackets around that way and I'm now going to fit it to the post. Basically, I just sit that latch at the desired height, check with your local council because it does vary. But here in Queensland, we need to be 1500 millimetres from the ground to the top of that. I'm actually at about 1600, that's okay. Screw off these inside brackets here, there's just two of those. And then, I can remove my latch, leaving the brackets on the post. Then take the other small screws provided, and lock these off. On the bottom one, you only use the top screw. You'll see why in a second. Taking the latch and screwing it and, and inserting it back on the uh, on the brackets, push it down till it's level with the bottom. And you'll notice in the pack you have a long screw that goes through the latch body, the bracket, and into the post to lock it off securely. Now that we have the latch firmly in place. We can take the, um, the striker body. You'll notice there's a small marker which corresponds with the marker on the latch body. I line them up and screw this off. Just 
check that's right, that's good to go. And the same with the bottom screw. There are two more screws on the inside. Screw them off like so. Then we're going to take the striker body. There's a Phillips screw which um, traverses the adjustment on this in and out. Place that on the carrier and simply screw it in. You'll notice that moves in and out, that's your adjustment. Look at that. So what happens over a period of time is if your gate drops or something in your hardware moves, has an impact and your latch doesn't adjust properly, that horizontal adjustment is simply taken up by that. Very, very simple to do. Fine adjustment can be done by the means of a Phillips screwdriver. Just about everyone's got one of these in their tool kit. Ensure you've got an even gap either side and then test your latch. So far so good. Now that our latch is on, comes time to adjust the hinges. We can open the gate and see that there's no self-closing motion on those. The G90 hinge has an inbuilt feature. This tool, which comes with every pair of hinges, is a simple click operation. Maximum of five clicks. I've done three on the top there. I should have enough close on that gate now. Okay, so it's closing, but I need a little bit more. I'll go to the bottom hinge and give that a couple. Much more positive. So what I've done is adjust at the top and bottom hinge. There's three clicks on the top, two on the bottom. That's closing well. Check with your council again, just make sure that you, you know your gate closes from the right distance required. Um, to de-adjust, if you've over-tensioned, take the other end of the tool, place it in the top, and just simply push it down. That's de-adjusted the hinge. I'll take that back up to three clicks. And then finish it off with a cap provided. Okay, so now that we've adjusted the hinges and we've got the desired amount of tension that we need to close that gate legally, check with your local council once again. What we want to do is put the compliance cap on the bottom hinge so as it's not a toehold for kids to be able to climb to the top of the gate. Simply insert into the top of the hinge, take a Phillips screwdriver, and tighten the screw. Don't over tighten it, just feel good resistance there and that you can't pull it out. There you have it guys, our hinges are installed, adjusted. When your hinges um, lose tension, you just take your tool again and simply click, click. That's top click. Okay guys, there you have it. The tri-latch, the G90 adjustable hinges, ready to go. It took about seven minutes, I reckon. Um, please make sure, if you're installing any of our Safe Tech gear, that you check the gate operation frequently um, to make sure that it's still in operating order. Child safety is paramount, and it's something we take very seriously at Safe Tech. Um, you can check us out on www.safetechhardware.com. Follow the links or any of the phone numbers, and you can even talk to me if you need any questions answered. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. See ya. C can we put a pool in here? <laughs>